Good morning, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Kingsbury. I'm a full-time reseller and freelance photographer. I took an afternoon off of filming yesterday, but uh, let me show you what happened. There you see it, the CD slash DVD collection, not collection, inventory grew by another tote. That's right, I continued listing uh, DVDs into my store. I got another tote full of them. Um, today I'm going to do a little something different. Let me show you what I have to list today. I'm going to continue with the DVDs. I've got these four here, uh, Taken 2 and 3 Guitar uh, Basic Instruction DVDs. And then I'm going to list these uh, CD cases, two nice leather CD cases. Pulling uh, from my uh, storage unit inventory, there is this uh, makeup um, makeup art and beauty luminous air uh, makeup brush airbrush multi-speed airbrush system i guess that's what it is let me show you guys so there's a look at it you know you spray your makeup on it by luminous so we'll have to look that up see what it's worth and price it accordingly this was also in a storage unit this is a brand new phillips satinelle shaver of some sort Firm hair grip for effortless, comfortable. There you go. Finally getting around to listing this. This is a drafting tool set, a vintage drafting tool set of some sort. It's missing a few pieces, but uh, we'll price it uh, accordingly. Hopefully get a quick sale. Finally, I think I'm going to list this Elsa frozen little tote. Quick little listing, little bread and butter. So that's what I'm working on today. This uh, little batch of listings. I'm going to get those photographed. I'm going to get those items photographed and uh, listed into the store. And then I'll probably get back into CD mode. i got to get some more envelopes from the store today so that I can uh, continue building my CD and DVD collection. I do have stacks and stacks of them. Uh, let me show you. There's just a little dose of them. Stacks and stacks. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stacks of uh, CDs and DVDs loose. So I think I'm going to try that. I'm going to list uh, probably a stack and see how it does. Just uh, put them in an envelope, list them loose, uh, no case, and see if people will buy them. In my last video, we looked at uh, DVDs that were selling for over $20. I was kind of surprised at the results. Uh, today I thought we'd narrow our search and do some DVDs over $40. So let's take a look. So I did a search of eBay keyword DVD video showed that 880,000 listings. When you search the sold listings it shows that 16,000 have sold in the last 90 days. Of that 16,000, 7,000 have sold for over $20 and 3.6 have sold for over $40. So we're gonna look at some of those DVDs that sold for over $40 today. Let's take a look. So again, I'm surprised a little bit that 3,600 DVDs have sold for over $40 on eBay. Um, just proof that uh, you can get that big money for DVDs still. Let's take a quick look at five DVDs that have sold for over $40. So these are just at random the five most recent DVDs that have sold for over $40. This one is called Mutilations DVD Massacre Video 80s Obscure Horror Rare Stop Motion Gore sold for $55. I found that a lot of these DVDs are in that horror category um, kind of uh, slasher flicks that sort of thing. People do collect those and uh, the rare ones do sell for big money. Again, the rare ones do sell. This one is a rare Krusty Demons of Dirt 2 Motocross DVD vintage from the 90s from 1996 keyword dirt bike sold for $43.99. Here's DVD number three that sold for over $40. Again, in that thriller horror category of, of DVDs. This one is called Into Great Silence. It's uh, by Philip Groening, a movie from 2005. DVD number four, this one sold for $54.45. This is a uh, music DVD by the band Tesla, titled Five Man Video Band. It comes out in 2002. It's 
brand new, sold for $54.45. The fifth and final DVD video that sold for over $40 is this, The Rings of Power. This is kind of a box set of uh, four seasons of this show. This uh, appears to be a, a Amazon Prime video show um, based off of the Lord of the Rings movies. This was called The Rings of Power. This again sold for $44.99. So hopefully that little look into the sold listings on eBay's uh, DVD section. Uh, just searched keyword DVD video and those popped up uh, five listings that sold for over $40. Keep an eye out for those at the thrift. So as you can see, the more rare, the more obscure, uh, the more you should probably pick it up and look into it. Uh, search the sold listings for some of those uh, rare, obscure titles that you see at the thrift and you might be uh, finding yourself some good profits. While doing my research of the DVD section, I came across the bolo to be on the lookout for. I thought I would share it with you guys. The bolo is for this show titled Wagon Train. Be on the lookout for this show. If you search eBay by keyword Wagon Train DVD, it shows that there's 147 listings currently up. And you search the sold listings, there's 155 that have sold. Let me show you some of these sold prices. Here are the results priced highest first. As you can see, that top one sold for $399.95. As you scroll down, you see uh, solds of $349. $349, $299, $300 best offer, $279.99, $265, $259, $259, $239, As you can see, there's over a dozen listings that have sold for over $250 checked out Wikipedia and it looks like that series ran from 1957 to 1962. It ran for five seasons on uh, ABC and then three more on NBC, so a total of eight seasons. It looks like even photos of the star of Wagon Train sell for big money. Here's a lot of nine vintage photos that sold for $105. And here's a picture of Robert with his horse that sold for $150. Looks like there's lots of fans of Robert Horton out there. Not only Wagon Train, merchandise from his other movies sell as well. The movie Green Slime. There's big money to be made. Look at this, a movie poster from the Green Slime movie sold for $495. And here's a lobby card of Robert and his co-star that sold at auction for $103.50. Got bid up to $103.50 on 8 bids. I've had a slow morning of sales, but we did have a couple sales come in. Let me show you guys what sold. We had two items sell for $24.85. Let's First see what item that sold, sold for $12.07. It's a Van Heusen red and white polo shirt, short sleeve, size large, man's striped, two button. Second item that sold, sold for $12.78. It's a charter club, brown sweater, women's long sleeve, solid, size small, petite, v-neck. So the weekend is just beginning. The sales are starting to roll in. I'm going to grab those two items from inventory and get some shipping on them and get them ready to ship out to the customer. Two more orders ready to go Had out. A decent morning of listing. I've got a three uh, items sitting here on the floor that I still have to list and then I'm going to show you some more items. It'll be going into my store this weekend. The CDs and the CD cases listed. Now I just have these three items left to do. I've never listed one of these Luminous Air Icon Pro makeup items. I uh, just looked at the what's listed and what's sold. It looks like it's an item to be on the lookout for. Let me show you. Here's what the box looks like. A quick search, Luminous Air Icon Pro is available. It shows that there's 46 Put available. The sold listing that shows that there's 131 that have sold in the last 90 days. They sell for pretty good money as you can see there's one that sold for $74.99 There's one that sold for $44.95 $45.29 dollars that's pretty similar to the one that I have uh, $48.80 best offer $37.99 $25 $49.99 $30 
So with uh, paydays like that, it's definitely one to be on the lookout for. The second item out of that storage unit looks to be a pretty good seller as well. Let me show you guys the numbers. So what it is is a Philips uh, Satinel Epilator. Quick search for Philips Satinel Epilator it showed that there are 62 listings currently up and there's 67 that have sold in the last 90 days. So that's the kind of sell through rate we like. When you take a look at what they're selling for, they're going for pretty decent money. There's one for 29, 26, that's a different one, 13, 39.99. 13 for that other one, 57, look at that, 57 for that one, 49.95, best offer, 48, 52, 27, 34, 22.99, 49.99. So I'm going to check the model number of mine, uh, but it looks like if you can get 30, 40, 50 dollars for those, that's a pretty decent payday. It's definitely one to be on the lookout for. So I got that Philips Epilator listed. It's nice to see some of that storage unit inventory I bought last month. Um, it has some good, good sell-through rates and it's going to make me some good money. So I had one sale come through. Let's take a look at what sold. Sold for $17.59. This is a pair of Hager Q gray polyester dress pants size 36 by 34. They're pleated men's with cuffs. So I got that vintage drafting tool set listed. There wasn't a lot online. Uh, there was, uh, the maker was W.M. Brauman and Sons out of Syracuse, New York. I searched that. There was nothing on eBay, so I had to do a Google image search. Didn't see anything by that uh, maker on there. There were similar items that sold for as much as uh, $200. So I priced mine at $79.99 and accepted best offer. So I got that up. It was an incomplete set, so it wasn't all the little tools weren't in there. But uh, hopefully we'll get some interest. Uh, I'm not sure the age of that, but uh, it's definitely vintage, possibly antique. Might be over 100 years old. Who knows? So a lot of people say that eBay sales are generated based on the dollar amount you list. So when you get up some uh, larger dollar amounts like those... Uh, Antique tools for $79.99, uh, those brand new um, items that go for $34.99. You know, you're looking at over close to $200 in uh, listings, in three quick listings. So it definitely will, uh, if you go by that theory that it's based on the dollar amount and not the total number that you get up, um, it's uh, some good sales are coming my way. So I do need to run into town and get some more envelopes. I want to list some more DVDs and I've got them outside the door ready to be photographed. Got to get those envelopes so that I can uh, put them into my inventory system correctly. Um, and then I'm going to get in a run. But first let's check to see what sold if we have any sales out of the small store. I haven't checked it out today so let's log in and see what we got. So good news, it looks like the small store did have some sales overnight. We had seven sales. Let's take a look at what sold. There you see it, seven sales for $100.62. Is that what that says there? Yeah, $110.62. So that's one good thing about having two stores. When the one store is slow, the other one usually picks up for it. First item that sold, sold for $13.22. It's an American Eagle... Love graphic, winter beanie hat cap, one size fits all, gray, red, and blue. Second item that sold, sold for $19.28. It was one of the junk drawer lots that I did. It's a keyword junk drawer lot. Camera, patches, buttons, wallet, cards, Star Trek, jewelry, and knife. So it's nice to see some of those uh, junk drawers finally selling. Uh, I did relist those one week. Um, I'm going to probably relist the ones that didn't sell again, try to get those sold, um, even lower the price even more. And then we might actually do a few uh, more junk drawers since they are working out. Third item that sold, sold for $19.30. It's an extra large Lucky Brand Fender guitar short sleeve graphic man's t-shirt top. Listed that recently with shipping, so uh, we're getting some of those uh, orders coming in with shipping, which is nice. Fourth item that sold, sold for $13.09. It's a motherhood maternity gray t-shirt, long sleeve, medium cotton blend. 
Fifth item that sold, sold for $18.54. It's a XXL Nike Just Do It Blue Cotton Men's Short Sleeve Graphic T-Shirt. Sixth item that sold, sold for $16.38. It's a Levi's Blue Long Sleeve Men's Crew Neck, sweet, crew neck Sweatshirt, size large, cotton. And the seventh and final item that sold out of the small store, sold for $10.81. It's a medium unbranded beige men's cotton long sleeve mock turtleneck t-shirt. So I'm going to go grab those seven items from the small store inventory system and get some shipping on them ready to ship out to the customer. There they are, seven orders for $110 plus some change. We're going to get some shipping on those and get them ready to ship out. All right, the tote full of orders is filling up. I'm going to have to run to the post office and drop those off. But first I want to get some uh, photos taken of some fresh inventory. As you can see, I have a lot of media set up here ready to be photographed and listed, but I'm also going to put these purses up. I think I have five purses here that I got from a recent storage unit, uh, two beige purses there. Actually, that is a travel uh, shaving kit bag, and then another purse there, and then the coach purse and wallet set. So I'm going to get that photographed, probably a roll of media, and then I'm going to head to the post office to drop orders and buy some new envelopes. So I went and got some ink as you saw. I also uh, made a donation to Goodwill, a box of uh, storage unit leftovers. Stuff that I didn't want to list, it wasn't worth it to me, but uh, I thought I would uh, pop in Goodwill and see what they had. Since I'm listing media this week, I took a look at the media section and got a few items. Uh, let me show you what I got. Spent $19.52. I got this brand new VHS tape. Uh, body work, some sort of documentary on this bodybuilder. Um, I know those are popular since it's brand new. Thought I'd give it a try. Haven't looked it up. It might be worth something. Uh, some live music. I know live music does well. Live at the El Rey. Stephen Lynch. This is some sort of comedian slash singer that I'm not really that familiar with. Two um, kind of Indian horror movies. I know horror movies do well since these are kind of rare. I thought I'd give them a try. Looks like some beautiful people on the cover there so maybe someone will uh, want to check those out. And then last but not least I got these two uh, Xbox 360 video games. One's brand new in the plastic. These are for the Connect, Connect Animals and Connect adventures so that's what i got so nineteen dollars and fifty two cents spent um i'm gonna add it to the stack of uh media the list this week gotta get some envelopes and i also have this grocery list so i'm gonna do a little shopping at fred meyer i'm gonna head over there then i'm gonna go for a run of course i'm gonna take you guys with me all right i just finished uh, getting the envelopes from fred meyer i did get one inventory item let me show you what i sprung There's on the envelopes there i couldn't pass this little guy up let me show you this little die cast car a little trans am kind of reminded me of the Smokey and the bandits car paid 5.99 for it i probably double my money quickly on that one so that's the plan to list it up for about uh, probably 14.99 and double up on that one All right, as you see, we made it to Lake Padden, got my grocery shopping done. Here at Padden, it's about five o'clock now, so just enough time to get a good run in before it gets dark. Um, so let's hit that trail and get this 2.6 miles in today. All right, I'm back, I made it. Another successful 2.6 miles in around Lake Padden. Today, I'd probably give it another seven out of 10. I felt a little sluggish. I tried to put some surges. They say you have three surges in a three mile race. So I used them at the end. Um, kind of steadied my posture and got up on my toes. Tried to go. Um, did it for a hundred yards three times at the end. But there wasn't a lot. There wasn't a lot in the in the reserves. So maybe, uh, maybe it'll come later in the week. But uh, I had two days off of running. I thought it would be there today. But it was still just a little sluggish. So it happens, might be the gloomy weather, who knows what it is. Uh, didn't have a lunch, so that could be it. Just snacked a little, so, um, but I'm going to show you the lake. I'm going to take a little longer warm down today, since I got a little time and it's the weekend. 
show you a little bit of the lake and uh, see the sights. Let's do it. So I wore the knit hat today. I wore gloves and it was still, it was actually pretty warm out. Probably didn't even need them. So that might have added to the sluggishness. Just a little too warm for the weather. So I, I got to prepare for that a little bit better. As you can see, maybe you can't, but there is a light sprinkle going on. So we're going to get down to the water and hopefully it doesn't uh, pour down any harder than it is right now. It's like no ducks and no geese today. The shoreline is pretty still. The wind is uh, low, but uh, they have that little sprinkle. You might be able to see that on the water there. But here's a look at the lake today. As you can see, the significant cloud cover, kind of a gloomy day. There's the dog park over there that way. There it is. Here's a look at the lake. Hopefully you guys like these little looks at the lake. I do see some bunnies over at the bunny area, so I'm going to go uh, grab another battery. The battery's low. Put a fresh battery in it and try to get a shot of the bunnies. Let's see if we can do it. All right, we got a fresh battery. I'm going to be real stealth-like, uh, sneak up on these bunnies, see if we can get a shot. Let's see if we can do it. So I spot one right through these trees there. He's kind of in the middle of that grass area. You guys see him? Let me zoom you guys in. Actually, there's two right there. Two little bunnies. That's as close as we can get. I'm gonna inch up a little closer. One has got his eyes right on me, that close one. The further one, he's got his ears peeled. We're gonna sneak up and see, oh, there he goes, one. One is out, he darted away. This guy's brave, he's looking straight at me. We're probably 10 feet away now, 12 feet. Probably eight feet, there he goes. I'm always amazed how fast those bunnies can dart out of there. Do you guys see that? It's like a flash or something. So they usually run this way into the brush here. Um, but that's probably the best shot we're going to get of them. They're quick. They're quick to get away. But uh, they're always here. This is their spot. They kind of hang out in the grass here. And uh, dart away into this brush to stay safe survival mode I guess. I don't see them in there. Do you guys see them? They uh, camouflage themselves pretty well. But uh, they're in there. Amazing they can get through all those sticks to a safe spot. So it is starting to rain down a little harder so we're gonna stay under this uh, cover a little bit. Try to get a little block from the rain as we uh, continue this little warm down. I'm going to take you guys along the way, go the full route today since uh, we got some some light still, but uh, let's go take a look at the lake again. So if you look at the water, you can see it's coming down pretty good right now. There's a little uh, batch of ducks out there. Uh, I think a foursome. Oh, five. I'll try to zoom in on them. They're, they're out there a ways. There's quite a few little batches of ducks. They're ducking under, getting out of the rain, but uh, swimming away to some uh, safe spot. But here's a look at the lake in the rain. Got to keep the camera dry, but uh, give you guys a quick look. Not sure if you guys can see that, but look at this tree. That sap just poured out right up there, and it kind of just flowed all the way down the tree. Look at that. Like it was uh, bleeding or something. Bleeding sap all the way down. So the rain is kind of coming in spurts. It was uh, pouring down there for a little bit. Now it let up. And it's still again. But uh, here's a nice look at the lake. Uh, we're approaching the dock area. Here's a look at the dock area. It looks like over on the dog park area they have uh, the lights on. So they might have uh, the cyclists going again over there tonight. Um, this was actually the area that was all green with algae the other day. Um, looks like the rain has washed that away quite a bit. Doesn't appear to be as green today. It was pretty bad the other day. I can hear that water flowing over there at the area where it flows out. Let's take a look and see what it's flowing like today. You guys hear that? Let's head over to that other side and take a look. This is the overflow area. Look at that. It's just flowing out heavy today. Look at that. That rain is coming down pretty good today, so they got a lot of extra water in the lake. Coming out down the creek here. I always like to check that area to see what kind of water flow there is. and uh, It's kind of a peaceful sound if you sit there for a while. You can probably hear it if the mic picks it up. 
I'm about 20 feet away from it right now. But uh, let's continue on with this uh, little warm down. Look at that, we got a little water flow, a little waterfall. That much water. So it's just starting to get dark. It must be about uh, six o'clock now. So we're gonna head over to the the calf stretch area, my favorite little spot to stretch the calves. We got a little light left, so we'll get a stretch on. Then we'll probably jog back to the car. Looks like some of these trees are getting heavy and coming down. So it's that time of year. We got a couple right there that kind of came down and slid down the hillside. Not sure how long these have been there, but they look to be fresh uh, fallen trees as well. All right, we got those calves stretched out. We're ready to get up the hill and back to the car. So we're gonna jog back and make our way back to the car, go on a nice little warm down, and then head home to do some more listing. I got those envelopes, so I'm ready to list some more media. The bunnies were back in the same spot as I ran back, and then they ran into this brush and escaped. So they're in there somewhere, still. Somewhere in this brush. Look at the coloring on these leaves. Beautiful red. That's where the bunnies hang out, under these red leaves. I guess they'd be orange, right? Definitely those fall colors. You can zoom out, get a look at that. Definitely fall, look at that. All red and orange and brown. All right, we made it back to the car, safe and sound. We got some milk in the groceries, so, uh we're gonna head home, get some light on the situation. We're gonna head home and do some more listing. Like I said, I have that the media, 10, uh, I think I photographed 10 DVDs and then uh, some purses. So we're gonna try to tackle those a little bit tonight. We still got a little time left to do some work and hopefully we'll see some more orders as we uh, check out the internet again and uh, get back into work mode. Phoenix, what are you doing? So I just had some dinner, watched the Huskies beat USC. Now it's time to get back to work and list some uh, DVDs back into the store. A nice stack here, photographed and ready to be listed. All right, it's 9.30. Got six new listings up into the store, but I think it's time to call it quits. I want to thank everybody for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's look at the life of a reseller. Uh, we got a lot of fun content in there uh what was it wagon train wagon train was that the movie you gotta look out for be on the lookout for wagon train that's right yeah it was a long time ago uh, this morning um i'm gonna do some more bolos in the future so if you like that sort of things be sure to uh, subscribe uh, hit that notification bell and uh, then you can become aware of all the videos as they drop um We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.